that it was the most vicious and deadliest attack since the war in Iraq began. An attack on an ancient religious community in northern Iraq, way out in sort of the middle of nowhere and way away from U.S. forces. One United States commander is calling it to another network an act of ethnic cleansing, almost genocide. At least 250 people, at least, in a coordinated attack killed involving four truck bombings. Rescuers are still digging through the collapsed clay homes for more bodies even as we speak. Our Anita McNaught is live at the Ford operating base at Mosul. Anita, it's my understand you've been to the area where this happened in recent days. If what do you know about in northern Iraq is now at least 250. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin has that, plus today's other events in Iraq. The images of the bloodshed near Mosul prompted one U.S. people were killed in northwest Iraq on Tuesday, according to the Associated Press. That would make Tuesday the deadliest day since the war began. It all went down in what had been a relatively safe area far outside of Baghdad. A U.S. commander now says the attack, which was on a small Kurdish-speaking sect, was an act of ethnic cleansing. Courtney Kelly is live for us in Baghdad with the very latest. Hi, Courtney. The Associated Press is reporting at least 400 people were killed in northwestern Iraq after four truck bombs blew up simultaneously on Tuesday. This makes it the deadliest day since the war began there. The U.S. military says the attacks were an act of ethnic cleansing because they targeted... We must warn you that some of the video and national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin's report is disturbing. Witnesses confirm what the videotape shows. The aftermath looks like a nuclear winter. Four entire blocks of homes were wiped out in the village of Katania. For some families of the small religious community that was the target, it was the equivalent of a holocaust.